You know, here on Autotech TV, we like to cover subjects that pertain to safety. In this episode, we will dive into what happens when cars collide. The idea is to bust myths because we really don't have a clear idea of the tremendous forces that come into play when there is a collision. And many people believe that vehicles of a more classic generation were safer than today's vehicles. That is absolutely false. So we will try to show you this and show it with images. To explain this, we have to start by laying down some concepts of physics. One of the core elements of physics says that when an object is in motion, when a car is in motion, it has a relative amount of energy to the motion, and one tries to stop it in some way, forces come into play. Stop it or accelerate it. Those forces that appear when there are changes in velocity are proportional to the mass of the vehicle and the amount of change in momentum. What is acceleration? Acceleration is the measure of at what speed these changes of motion happen. There is acceleration and deceleration, which are the same but different. The bigger the change in velocity, or how abrupt is that change in velocity, the greater forces of acceleration that will be present. Consequently, force and mass plus acceleration for the same amount of mass, when the acceleration or deceleration grows and grows a lot, the forces that appear are directly proportionate. One thing is coming at a certain rate of speed and braking, and it takes two or three seconds to stop the car, and another is when there is an impact and that deceleration happens in a fraction of a second. In these times that are so, so short, we will encounter forces that are brutal, that the body is incapable of surviving, incapable of enduring. You are seeing some terrible images. If you look closely, you see that the vehicles from an older age, for example, this Chevy, Chevrolet Impala next to a Chevrolet from 2010. Look at the difference we see. The Impala had everything. The metal chassis, you would think that this was so strong, robust in this case, the driver does not survive. We have to stop with this story that these older cars were safer than newer cars. Why? And up to what speed can we survive an impact in a car? A lot has to do with the way the car is impacted but generally speaking, all these crashes you see are done at 64 kilometers per hour or 40 miles per hour. Why at this speed? Why not at 120 or 130? What happens is, it has been proven through many tests that the human body cannot survive the decelerational forces that manifest when the impact happens at more than 40 miles per hour. In exceptional circumstances, we can survive up to 100 kilometers per hour or around 62 miles an hour. But normally, the common point is around 40 miles per hour. So what's the idea? That the driver in the moment of a crash, for whatever reason, received the least amount of the energy produced from the impact. That's why you see that newer vehicles apparently are completely destroyed. But if we play close attention, we see that yes, although the outside gets pretty torn up, the cockpit or shell where the driver and passengers are located come away less destroyed than vehicles of an earlier age. And that is exactly the goal, that the pieces that are breaking are absorbing all that energy and it is completely designed that way. So that the cockpit or cage, if you will, will deform the least amount possible and you are affected the least amount possible. If we add other accessories to that that allow all those forces to dissipate the most possible, talking about seat belts, talking about airbags, your probabilities of survival increase immensely. When the car is lacking in these areas, there appear, let's say, impacts. Remember, you are traveling at the exact same speed as the vehicle. And at the moment of impact, the idea is for you to be the least affected by it. 
that the forces created dissipate in the quickest time possible, that the deceleration be to the smallest degree possible so that you can survive. Without these things, it is hard to accomplish it. Subscribe to our channel, Autotech TV. Technology, clear and simple.